We're very excited to be kicking off Connie Nest Digital University again for its second season. Jim and Kathleen, who I introduced, gave this presentation at a recent publishers meeting, and it was really well received by everybody. And it's such a hot topic, and social media can be used, you know, by editorial, by PR, by advertising and marketing. We just wanted to get the information out as soon as possible. So what does this look like, all right? So you're in New York and you're kind of spread out. You might get five or 10 people at a location or maybe at a conference, but at the South by Southwest conference, where it's just like spring break for geeks, um, this is right <laughs> in their wheelhouse and there's parties and there's events and there's things. So what they did is uh, a visualization of all the people checking in using all the services and it looked like this. And it's where Twitter first broke in. Mm -hmm. that was so uh, blue is Foursquare, so that's the one that's kind of the most popular. Goala was kind of the biggest competitor. And then things like Flickr are people that are uploading photos to Flickr and then tagging them where they were. And you can see the clock down here on the lower left, so this is 10 a.m., 11, you know, during lunch, everyone's checking in. And you'll kind of see that even as it gets darker at night, it doesn't really let up that much, so people are checking in to find the best parties, where are their friends at. So uh, coming up to midnight, one in the morning, two in the morning. <laughs> so it's still kind of going. Finally, about four or five. So you can see when you get kind of a critical mass of people in one place doing this, you know what the power of it is. So. So what's an example of using Twitter? So what's give me a real life example of someone using Twitter in real time? So. I was out at South by Southwest and Wired had a happy hour. It was sponsored by Starbucks. So I'm sure lots of you have done events and a lot of work goes into this stuff, right? You've got um, street teams, so we had people handing out magazines, we had flyers, we had you know, the Starbucks branding on each side. You've got the sponsored products, you've got their presence, so you had all the, you know, the Starbucks things going at the location. And then you've got the signage that you have to put up <laughs> and take care of. And so, I'm, I'm the one on the right. <laughs> Um, and so I said, you know, I want to make sure this goes well. So you're able to follow all these topics on Twitter. So I had, um, you know, Wired, Wired Happy Hour, Moonshine, which is the name of the location. And I'm like, I'm going to be running around. How am I going to keep track of my smartphone? I'm like, I got it. I'll call my intern and I'll have him keep track of everything. And every 20 minutes, send me an email to me, uh, other people on site, to the PR staff, to the sales team, in case something comes up with Starbucks, and just give me a top level thing. Like, people are happy, people are running late, people are having a good time, they can't do this, you know? And so you could watch the reactions on the fly. So we knew that it was gonna be crowded. Um, and you started to see these tweets come in, you know, waiting in line at the Wired party, you know, we've been out here forever. And so I was able to get that update and talk to the staff and say, can we let some more people in? Can we keep the line moving or, you know, walk through the line and say, hey, it's going to be just another few minutes. Um, and when you keep users happy in an event, they'll respond to it. So they started talking about Wired. They started talking about Starbucks. They actually were tweeting pictures of the event and pictures of Starbucks product that we were giving out. So obviously the, uh, the sponsor is going to be happy with that. So that's kind of an example there.